Hey, welcome back to my channel. I kind of got spaced out for a little bit. Uh, FYI, I don't have the copyrights to any of this music playing. If I go to YouTube jail. <laughs> but it keeps her calm. And she loves music, so. Um, I hope it's not louder than me. I'll leave it at that volume, just in case you all can't hear me. So, I went to, too loud. So, the last time I went to the doctor, I think it was like two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Don't get me to lying to tell you when I went to the doctor because this doesn't work. Okay? It's gone. Um, <laughs> so the doctor was saying that I was measuring kind of big. My belly was measuring kind of big. So she wanted me to do a, a sonogram, a growth scan. So I scheduled that for Monday. So I went on Monday and um, did the sonogram. Everything was looking fine. And then the sonographer tells me, she asked me like, how big was I when I was born? Um, how long was I when I was born? Um, she was like, this baby's pretty small. And I'm like, what do you mean small? So immediately I'm like on guard and petrified. Like, what do you mean? I'll be eight months soon. What do you mean she's small? So she said that she was only um, weighing in at three pounds, five ounces. Now, this is Monday. And immediately I get extremely nervous. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean she's only three pounds, five ounces? I was like, as much as I eat and I'm not gaining weight. So where is this all going? So she checked the umbilical cord, she checked the placenta, she checked everything else, and everything else looked fine. And she is just as fidgety as she always, you know, always is. Um, she was moving regularly, and everything else was measuring fine. Like it looked like everything was going good in the umbilical cord and everything with the placenta. Um, so I was like, okay, a little relieved of that. But I'm like, she's only three pounds, five ounces. But the other doctor just told me I was measuring big. So now I'm confused as to what's going on. So I see the doctor. And by the way, my sonographer, is, she's so sweet, super, super sweet. She's the one who told me what I was having. And she remembered me. I mean, we're chit-chatting. <laughs> and um, But yeah, she's awesome. So I went to see the doctor, he measured me, and he was like, yeah, you're measuring kind of small. And I'm like, okay, but I was just measuring big. So does somebody not know how to take this measurement or, or what? But the doctor told me sometimes, you know, all the nutrients that the placenta is supposed to give the baby, it doesn't necessarily always do. And it's not necessarily, um, a lot of people... My neighbors get on my nerves. Why would you have a conversation on the phone in front of somebody's window? Stand in front of your window. Oh, these people will be getting on my nerves. As I expressed in the last video, my neighbors are annoying. What was I saying? Well, the doctor said sometimes the nutrients don't go out of the placenta like it's supposed to to the baby that could be it or I just don't have big babies this, this is the first one they don't have anything to, anything to compare this baby to so I just may have small babies they said so I'm like okay cool sorry I got like side boob going on <sighs> my I don't know what to do with these no more. I had bought this 
This is a sports bra I bought from Old Navy. And it did fit. And I put it on today. And it don't fit. So I'm like, they must have grown. I didn't think they did really did, but yeah, they did. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Um, today he was going to send me to the um, hospital where I'll be giving birth to have a um, another scan. Another sonogram growth scan. And so we can get more into detail and a stress test. And I said, okay. Just to make sure she's not in, in, in duress or anything like that. They really don't think nothing's really wrong with her. It's just that she's small. So it just as a precaution. Well, I didn't know that I was supposed to go that day. Because they gave me an appointment for the 15th of this month. So the hospital's calling me the next day like, you were supposed to come here yesterday. We were waiting for you. I'm like, well, nobody told me I was supposed to go because I would have went. So I wound up going Wednesday. I wound up going Wednesday. Now, mind you, Monday she was three pounds, five ounces. When I went Wednesday, it was doing her, um, the sonographer was doing her, the sonogram. And we got some good pictures of her this time. Like her whole little face. Uh, we got a smirk out of her because she was doing, she was up here. I guess her feet is up here and she seems like she's ticklish on her feet like me. Like I'm horribly um, ticklish on my feet. Like to get a pedicure is like, oh, once they get to the scrubbing part, I'm like dying. Like hurry up, I can't take it. But um, yeah. So, um. Yeah, so he was doing this, the scan, um, measuring her head, her stomach, um, the umbilical cord, her legs, her arms, her feet, her hands, um, as much as they could, and much, as much chill at them because she hates the son sonogram. She hates it. Like, she really does hate it. And um, at first, she was covering her face. Like, she didn't want to be seen. Then she had a hand on her head, like, come on, y'all are getting on my nerve. Like, she kept doing this, like, I'm like, <laughs> excuse us for checking up on you. She's something else in there. Then she was, like, scrunch her face up like that, and she's about to cry, and her little lip, just like this. She was like, I said, oh, I said, I don't understand why you're so aggravated. Like, I got to go through all this. And then you're kicking me. She's going with this with thing, and um, they were fighting each other. So it's like I can't. But um, so then the sonographer took the um measurements. Then she um, then the doctor came in, and he also did measurements, and they like compared to make sure they're both on the same page, and. Everything else looks good. It was like she she looks she's within the tenth percentile. I don't know what the hell that means. Okay, I was I was looking, I would tell the doctor, can you speak to me in English? I don't understand medical jargon or whatever. But is she in the fortieth percentile? Something like that, where it's not. A concern, a big concern about her weight because everything else looks pretty much okay. Like, um, but she's just coming in a little small. Like, everything is like she's short, <laughs> so everything else is everything is smaller. Like, she has the littlest feet, the littlest hands, and her arms and legs. Um, everything is short, so. I'm short. I'm only, I just got to 5'3". Okay, at my age. And I'm not saying my age. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she, um, she's going to be short like me. Her father is not that tall either. He's not like a six footer. Like, I like him. I'm just, <laughs> sometimes to meet somebody is not, I don't really have a type, but 
kind of like the tallest stature. But if they got a nice body and they're shorter, like they can't be my my like five three. No, I'm sorry, I don't. I, I really I can't. I can do like five seven and up, but five three that ain't happening. Five seven is short for me, but I'll take it. If it you know, it'd be cute. I'm just saying. So uh, her dad is, I think he's like average height, five nine, five eleven, between five nine and five eleven. So it's um not um oh sorry, it's got a cramp in my neck. What the hell is that about? But um oh sorry, give me a minute. This is my song. So, um, yeah, oof, I don't like this. Mm. Mm. I was saying in my last video that now it feels like my ear aches a lot back here. I don't know what that is. But, um, yeah, I'll get to all my symptoms in a minute. But he says she weighs and, um... So on Monday, she weighed three pounds, five ounces. And then on Wednesday, she weighed three pounds, 10 ounces. So we're moving. And um, he said he has no doubt that by the time I give birth, she should be at least five pounds or close. And he doesn't think, he's like, from what everything looks like, he doesn't see like she's going to need a lot of help when she's born. And it doesn't need to be like a panic because I was panicking. He was like, you don't need to panic. She she looks fine. Like, she looks okay. We can't say that she's fine. You know, because we would have, you know, she would have to be going for them to give me the, like, the okay. But so far, from what they can see, it's not a big concern that she's small. They're just going to keep an eye on me to make sure that um, she's not under any duress or anything like that. But as long as she stays active as she is, which she is, trust me. She sleep now, which is good, which I should be taking a nap, but so let me get these videos out the way because I'm going to do what's in my baby bag. I think what's in my hospital bag. I don't even know if I'm finished packing my hospital bag. I don't even know what to pack in the bag. This is my first time around. I don't even know what I'm doing. But then, you know, that's what I'll be doing today. But yeah, she's sleeping right now because she was on a roll when I was at physical therapy. So she's I just ate twice and uh she's probably laid out chilling right now. <laughs> so um yeah, but everything else looks fine. Like the everything in a umbilical cord sounds fine and everything like the blood flow sounds okay and um I did the stress test, I wasn't having any any contractions. Um, and her heart rate looked not normal. She wasn't under any stress, but they have me going for another one um next week. So I'll be updating you all because I wasn't gonna do videos from now on. Sorry, I like missed my whole mouth eating. I I just don't. Whatever, I'm pregnant. That's my excuse for now. So I give birth. I'm pregnant for everything. So, <laughs> so yeah, but I'm not concerned. I, I think she's going to be okay. I'm not stressed out or um, scared. I was scared um, Monday when they told me she was small. I was scared and teary-eyed, but as feisty as she is, she'll be fine. Like, I believe she's going to be okay. And even if she's small, you know. The hospital I'm going to have her in is a really good hospital. So they have a neonatal unit and they have neonatal doctors there all the time. And I've heard nothing but good things. So it's like if she's underweight, she'll probably be on the cusp of five pounds and she probably won't have to be in the hospital but for like a week or two. And they, they doubt that she's going to need like oxygen and stuff like that. So that's reassuring. So I was happy about that. I was really happy about that. I'm glad she's okay. And I feel okay about it. And I prayed on it. And 
We'll just see. As long as she keeps baking until June, we will be okay. So, the symptoms I've been getting. Um, well, the ear ache, the, the aching behind my ear is still like, I don't know why. Um, I've been having like kind of pressure behind my eyes, but I think that's allergies. I think the both of them are chucked up to allergies because my eyes been running. Like out of nowhere, my eyes are starting to run. And um, my doctor said I could take Claritin. I think I could take Claritin. Um, and I should be fine. And um, yeah, my nose has been stuffy. But I noticed the way she's laying, like I'm out of breath a lot more. Um, even talking, I'm out of breath. Um, I took my maternity photos this past Sunday. And um, it was cold. And I had a dress on and I ripped my stockings. So I wound up having to wear no stockings. Um with a dress on, but I had shorts under that kind of had like the support on top. So yeah. Um I'm very itchy. Like why? Everything everything itches, especially my back. It's like I need to invest in a back scratcher like ASAP because my back itches so much. And it's like I don't understand like I'm clean. I could get out the shower and still be like itchy, scratchy. Like my legs, my my back, my arms, the bottom of my feet itch so much. I'm like, what the heck is this? I'm like, I have never itched like this. Cause I'm sorry, but and then my hands still hurt, so I can't wait to get an X-ray on this. Cause I swear something something is is off. From right here to like right here, because if I was to like press on it, this would go back and I would have to like do that for it to go back. I don't know what I did to my hand in my sleep, but ouch, it hurts. Um, since my last video, I can, I can use my arms. <laughs> this arm <laughs> went back to normal. Like it took forever for it to get normal. I was like, man, I think by like Saturday. It got back to normal. And I was like, thank goodness. Mom was on fire after that Tdap shot. Oof. <sighs> but um, I noticed that I'm a lot more gassy now. Um, kind of like in the beginning. The beginning of my pregnancy, I was like gassy. I was like belching and just tooting oil all over the place. Now I can't even hold my toots it's just <laughs> it happens everywhere it actually happened at physical therapy and it was hysterical because they were they were laughing at me i was doing the doing some squats using the ball which oh i hope my um my husband has a ball i took the tour and i forgot to ask about the ball like that was like one of my main questions but then i was freaking out because somebody was giving birth not giving birth, but in labor. And she sounded like she was in agony. And I was like, oh my God. I started freaking out. So I totally forgot to ask about the ball. Because that just scared the mess out of me. It scared me bad. Um, I was like, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know. I didn't think this through. <laughs> I started crying. Like, I didn't think this through. I don't know. You know, a friend of mine, she went with me. And she was like, um... It doesn't mean it's going to be you. <laughs> I was like, but she sounds so, it sounds so bad. So, yeah. It sounds horrible. It's just being in the rooms where, you know, you're going to be giving birth. It's, 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 it's scary. It really is scary. I'm like, oh my God. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> That's what I kept saying. But, um, yeah. So, um, what else? I'm getting a lot of lot more leg cramps. Like, I cannot walk too far without my legs cramping up and they cramp up bad. So I'm like, Ugh. I guess this is my body my way of my body's way, sorry, of telling me to take it easy and um my OB 
told me I can only make like two more physical therapy appointments before she, she said two more, that's it. I'm going to need you to nest. And I'm like, what the hell is nesting? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What is it? So she was like, just taking it easy until you give birth. She's like, um, you can travel this weekend. I need you not to be traveling until you give birth. Which, oh, let me tell you all. So my last video, and I was like, I am praying. Like, I pray every day that I get another apartment and blah, 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 blah. Well, this place I put in an application for in 2011. Okay, people? 2011 and it's 2017. They just giving me an interview for an apartment back home where I'm from. So I'm like, look at God. I'm so excited. I hope I get it. But my appointment is on the 31st. That is like a couple of days after my baby shower, which I'm like, what the hell? So I will be sneaking. <laughs> I will definitely be sneaking and um, going to that because we need to move. This place is going to drive me crazy. And plus I have more help, you know, there. My family's there and um, my mother's willing to help me, you know, as I go back to work. Um, a job I had prior offered me to come back. But I told them I am like eight months pregnant and that, ooh, that cracked my back. That will not happen right now. So they were like, when you give birth... And you are able, give us a call. So it's like, I could go back to work at my old job. Yes. The hours was good, so was the money. So, which is going to put my rent up. But um, my mother can watch her while I'm at work. And my mother's too ready to leave, <laughs> to retire her, to her job. So, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but. Yeah, so I got an appointment, so hopefully I will be telling you I'm moving. I just pray it goes well. Like I pray it goes well. Um oh I forgot to mention my weight gain. I didn't really gain too much weight. I've only so far gained 14 pounds. And most of it is baby. But she's only three, but you know, everything else that's in there, the water, the in the placenta it's mostly here that I've gained weight like I don't think I'm that much bigger than I was pre-pregnancy so my doctor thinks I'm a snap right back and I'm like yes I'm gonna need that to happen because it's summertime and I don't need no extra weight um <laughs> um yeah so what else has been happening with my symptoms? Um, My tooth has been aching a little bit. Like, I hope it doesn't turn into a full-blown toothache. But it's just been throbbing some. And I'm like, please don't turn into a toothache because that is no joke. And there's nothing I can do about a toothache right now at this stage in pregnancy. So, not cool. What else did I have to, no, she done woke up. It's like she sleeps for 20 minutes. I hope she doesn't be like that when she gets out. Like, I really hope she doesn't be like that. I'm so excited my crib came that my godmother ordered. Uh, we had no idea it was coming. Um, she did not get an alert or a heads up that the, the crib will be coming. So thank goodness I was home yesterday to receive the freaking crib. A mess. Um... I'll include some pictures from my maternity shoot. I really, 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 really love them. I think they came out beautifully. Um, I'm so mad that I sealed up the thank you cards, which I had this idea of printing pictures out and putting it in the thank you card. But I sealed them. I don't know what I was thinking or wasn't thinking. My brain doesn't work. I'm telling you. So now I think I'm just going to like tape it to the envelope. Just ghetto. 
but oh well. It'll be alright. And I have to do my video for the haul I did at um Dollar Deals with the decorations for my baby shower. I didn't do that either. I'm supposed to do that. I have so much to do today. But it's Friday. And I have nothing else to do with my life. <laughs> but I have to finish up my pens. I have to start decorating the um, favors. I have to buy more candy to fill it. To fill the rest of them in. Because I think I have like 30 more to fill. And um, yeah, that's about it. So those videos will be coming up. What's in my baby's hospital bag? What's in my hospital bag? Um, and then the dollar deals haul. Cool. And then at the end of this video, I'll be sharing some um, of my maternity shoot photos. She came out beautifully. Like I said, a friend of mine, she did them. They came out beautifully. I, I can't say anything that I don't like about the pictures except how fat my face looks. But otherwise than that, I think they came out beautifully. She did a wonderful job. And she saved me a whole lot of money, and I'm so thankful. And, um, oh, I give a belly shot. I don't know if I did this in the last video, but I can't remember at this point, people. So excuse me. Let me see. Let me just push this back a little bit. No, that's not my navel. That is the, my navel's not out like that. Let me pull this down so you can see. Yeah. This is my belly from the side. You can see her little, I think that's her tush back there. Her little booty. Yeah. So, yeah, she's, um, I think she's from like here to here. She's a little thing. And here's the front. My belly button's really coming, <laughs> trying to come out. And here's the other side. So I kind of dropped a little bit. And now it's kind of coming to a point. But yeah, that's my belly shot. So, uh, so yeah, that was everything for my 32 week. Is it 32 or 33 weeks? How many weeks am I? I don't know. I think I'm 32 weeks. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, my brain does not work. If I didn't have this What to Expect app, I wouldn't know. Okay, so I am 32 <laughs> I'll be 33 weeks tomorrow. Bear with me, people. This is going to be a long ride. All right, so thank you for sticking around. And, um... Make sure you stay tuned for the maternity photos. I think I'm only going to share like four. Um, and um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And come on back. So I have a lot of videos coming up. So thank you for hanging out. Bye.